The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. We have Mike from Chicago on the line, and he has a question about digestion. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. First of all, I just wanted to say that I love the show. I think it's uh, it's great programming, and I'm very much of a like mind when it comes to you know taking control of your own health and certainly doing your own research. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Happy Friday, everybody. It's Nico on Living a Primal Lifestyle. Paige is still out. She will be back next week, but she's still doing some continuing education and uh, learning some uh, new body sculpting techniques, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, she will be back next week, and I uh, just want to say, uh, hey, welcome to the show, folks. It's uh, Friday, and uh, the number here is 877-927-6648. It's a beautiful day here in downtown Clearwater. In fact, it's 79 degrees, a little cooler than normal, and uh, it's kind of nice because we've got a little cloud cover coming in and little raindrops coming in, so a few th thunder showers. And uh, that's not bad. That's kind of the way we like it in the summertime because it cuts down on the heat. Folks, I got a brand new uh, newsletter, Health Signals, uh, issue 12 for the year is out. Uh, real packed full of things you need to know, so please pick that up. It's only $10 a month. Get two issues a month uh, for only 10 bucks, And uh, they come out on the first and third Friday of each month. I got a letter from uh, Mitch, and uh, I just kind of wanted to read it. Uh, he uh, said, uh, he, I'm interested in some comments about uh, from Paige uh, about cholesterol, something about a heart doctor that uh, cholesterol was beneficial to the heart, uh, something to the effect that it fights inflammation. I'm not sure I have that right. I tried to find some uh, info, but couldn't, uh, but my research didn't get me anywhere. You recall the name of the doctor, uh, L Lindell, I think it is. Let me see. It's... Uh I think it's one of these. I had it yeah, in my newsletter. Let me check my newsletter. Yeah, last uh, issue of newsletter, the 11th one, uh, Dwight Lundell is his name. And he talks about, uh, it's a video. It's on the last page of our, our new letter. So check that out. Uh, there's some real interesting facts that he brings out that cholesterol really isn't the enemy as uh, we thought it was. And, uh, of course, there's been a lot of research done on this lately. Uh, there's uh, reminds me of a book uh, that is uh, the book uh, that uh, um, Sinatra and Bowden uh, wrote, which was called The Cholesterol Myth, and there they really break it down and explain what, what, what is and isn't the problem with cholesterol. Let me see if I can get any of that information about this. Um, let's see here. Where is this that? I don't have it in front of me. But there's, there's so many things going on with cholesterol that it's really, you know, people really just don't understand it. It's a, it's kind of what they call the uh, misunderstood uh, molecule. So, uh, you know, it's uh, really the, the problem with heart disease is really caused by inflammation, oxidative damage, stress, and sugar, is, uh, and blaming uh, um, things like... Um, Cholesterol for heart disease is kind of like blaming uh, the fireman for the fire, in, in, in a sense. So according to uh, uh, Sinatra and Bowden, they say that the cause, the factor in heart disease is much uh, weaker uh, connection between that and cholesterol. And they make that case in the book called The Great uh, Cholesterol Myth. So... Uh, one of the things that you can do is, of course, to avoid uh, anything uh, to do with the heart is uh, have a, a great lifestyle. Uh, some of the things you should avoid, however, is in our food, and what's causing a lot of the problems are the GMOs, uh, the soy, the corn, uh, and processed foods. The more the food is processed, the more problems we seem to have with it. And uh, a, a lot of the uh, different types of oils that we're using in modern times are not the same type of fats that we have uh, brought up on for thousands of years. So uh, the introduction of what we call the seed oils, the industrial seed oils, the oils that are really made from um, vegetables, uh, grains, things like that, we tend to know that they're not that good for us, and that really has to do with the balance of not only the saturated fat, but the monosaturated fat and the uh, polyunsaturated fat. So the difference being uh, is in the molecule chains uh, of the fat, and uh, saturated fat as a natural, a single molecule, very easy for, for us to digest. Uh, and, of course, saturated fat is uh, like the butter, uh, the uh, saturated fat in animal uh, fat, uh, and in coconut oil and palm oil, those are the two uh, um, um, 
fruits kind of that uh, have the, the good oil for us. The rest of the fruits, uh, like the avocado and like the uh, olive oil, are monounsaturated fats, and they have a, a double chain of uh, fats. A little harder for us to digest, but we can still digest it, especially if they're cold. And then the next phase of the monounsaturated fat, our body has less uh, a chance of uh, getting those to digest as good, especially if they're really high inflammatory, like the omega-9s and the omega-6s. Omega-3s brings that ratio down. So we say a nice balance for omega-3s would be a 3 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio with the omega-6. And that's what uh, um, things like uh, grass-fed beef have. They have a nice ratio of a 3 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio, so it's not highly inflammatory. It's still a little bit inflammatory, but what uh, you know, when we balance that out with eating just a little bit of uh, carbohydrates through fi fibrous vegetables, then, of course, we kind of balance that whole thing out. So that's interesting. Uh, so add into your diet, they say, uh, you want to uh, keep uh, away from grains. You want to do vegetables, especially the fat-burning vegetables like the onions and daikon root and leeks and radishes and uh, shallots and chives and things like that. And your dark, leafy vegetables are great. And then some of your smaller fruits like the berries and grapefruit and some things like that are really good. Another thing are your spices are really good, especially uh, turmeric and cinnamon really, really important uh, anti-inflammatory spice that we can use, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, the other thing are some of the good fats, of course, are fish, wild cold water fishes like salmon and tuna, herring, mackerel, sardines, and pasture-raised animal meats, and it really doesn't matter what kind. As long as the animal is eating their natural food, you're going to find that nice balance of the saturated fats and the mono and some uh, omega-3s in there also. And then if you want to do some more supplementation, that fish oil, which is your uh, omega-3s that are uh, come from fish, so it comes from the animal, so it's relatively very good for you, anti-inflammatory. Omega-3s from your fruits and that are, are not as quite as beneficial. Uh, then you have your green complex capsules that you can get or your powders. Those are important, anti-inflammatory. They also have uh, turmeric in uh, supplement form and capsules. Very good. CoQ10, another anti-inflammatory oil that uh, you can use. And uh, those are all uh, good for your brain, good for everything. So that uh, is pretty much what uh, he was talking about in the, in the book, uh, uh, The Cholesterol Myth, and also Dr. Lundell in that uh, talk that he gave and uh, stating that cholesterol really isn't the enemy and that you really need to look at other factors. And when you look at your cholesterol and your uh, content of fat and, uh, uh, you know, those numbers of, sa of fat that you have in your body, you want to really look at the HDL and the LDL and the particle size. And the uh, HDL, you know, is the good fat. LDLs, they say, is bad fat, but it's really the large particles of LDL are actually very, very beneficial for us, and we need those. It's the small LDLs. So if you start implementing a program where you start introducing these good fats into your diet, what you're going to find is that your HDL will probably go up a little bit, your LDLs will probably drop, uh, but your particle size will really change. So you're going to get into these nice fluffy LDLs, which are very beneficial for you, and you're going to find your triglycerides will automatically go down and start to normalize. So that's the real benefit of getting some really good fats into your diet. And, uh, you know, uh, they say at prehistoric times that uh, human beings were probably eating uh, 10 times maybe 15 times as much fat as we are now. Even just uh, a couple of thousand years ago, we were eating much, much more fat. And it, that's been decreased because we've actually introduced other products to take the place of what we were eating when we were more of a hunter and gatherer type of society. Hunter and gatherer society, as we know, always say, if they're hungry, they go hunting and we hunt for that protein. So very important to understand the, the balance that we need. And everybody's a little bit different, but we find that we need a, a substantial amount of protein, uh, a few ounces at every meal, uh, three to maybe six ounces for uh, depending on the, the size of the person, and then the fat that naturally occurs with those uh, products that you're eating.
Uh, if you're eating chicken or pigs or uh, goats or uh, cattle or fish, they have a natural balance of uh, saturated fat, monounsaturated fat, and uh, polyunsaturated fat in them naturally. That's very balanced. That's very good for us. Uh, it's, of course, it gets uh, difficult sometimes, folks. Uh, you know, we have to try to find the best food we can. If we end, t end up going to the corner store, we're not going to be, the chances of you getting that great, great uh, steak or uh, grass-fed beef is going to diminish. It's, you're not going to be able to find it easy. So you're going to have to start finding your vendors started getting to know people who actually eat, the, eat this way. Uh, I've got a great resource page in, a, in my newsletter. In fact, there's a couple of pages, so you can find stuff that's uh, you know reasonably near me. Uh, some of the stuff you really have to send away for, but if you can find a local farmer, uh, then you know, you're really, really better off. Uh, you'll get better eggs from a farm than you will at the grocery store. Uh, not as convenient. But uh, I think it's much, much uh, worth your time to go that extra mile. And it's kind of like a little adventure, so you don't go as often, perhaps. But you can still get your greens locally, uh, and uh, that's what I would recommend. But if you're going to go after your beef and uh, your chickens and your, uh, you know, your other types of meats, fish, luckily in Florida, you know, I, I've got a really good source here. I go to Ocean Seafood down here in uh, uh, Largo, and uh, you know, I know that he has the best fish he can, he can get. It's not cheap, but it's great. And uh, as I've gone through this diet, and I've ex I think I've explained quite a few times, that I, I find that uh, with a better quality, I eat a lot less of that. And by supplementing the oil that perhaps uh, some of these animals uh, or fish may not have, I uh, you know, supplement that with butter and coconut oil, uh, olive oil, macadamia nut oil. Sometimes I use sesame uh, seed oil and if I want to cook at a higher temperature. Uh, you know, so we, there's a lot of possibilities out there. So uh, I just want I, want I want you to think about that. You're going to get a lot of this information. In fact, you know, one of the first things we have in the newsletter is about nutrient density. And this uh, doctor, uh, uh, his name is La Lalonde, Matthew Lalonde, and he's got a uh, nice talk in here uh, that uh, I've linked to that you can. Uh, go to and he really talks about the density of food and what he found out through his own experiments that the dense foods that are really high in nutrition density is what we want to eat and when you you look at the list that he has here on the second page of what's the most dense you're going to be kind of shocked because what they're advertising is dense food and that's really good for us is not what we're finding out in the mainstream here he says your organ meats and your oils are your most dense and nutrition foods there is herbs and spices and nuts and seeds and uh, uh, cacao from making coffee fish and seafood pork and beef and eggs and dairy are in the top seven or eight foods and the worst ones are always your grains and your processed fruits and that. So, anyway, stick around, folks. The number here is 877-927-6648. Uh, the uh, Health Signals newsletter is out there, so t take a look at that new one, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. 
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and the trend is your friend until it changes. A free special report is now available on the homepage of TFNN.com, and if you have money in the markets, this free report is a must. If your strategy is buy and hold, this report is a must. If you're a day trader, a swing trader, a forex or options trader, or just getting into the markets, this report is a must. And it's the second best gift you'll ever receive. Look, if you buy a stock and the general market is trending in the other direction, you've reduced your odds of buying at the right time by 70%. Instead, let me teach you how to get that 70% advantage plus. The plus is a free trial to my daily newsletter service, Mastering Probability. There's no upfront deposit, no charge to your credit card, and I can press decades of education into each daily newsletter. This is a limited time offer, so act now, and I'll teach you how to take the trend and turn it into your best friend. All the details are on the homepage of TFNN.com. Act now. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back to the program, folks. It's Nico on Living a Primal Lifestyle, and the number here is 877-927-6648. So give me a call if you have any questions. Uh, meanwhile, you know, we're talking about fats, and we're talking about uh, uh, how to make some kind of changes. And I think one of the biggest changes that you can make is really changing the type of fat that you're eating. If you make this one change, it's going to make a huge difference. So, uh, you know, I'm not even switching out the grains and stuff like that. If you just start with this one thing, uh, changing the type of oils that you use, you go in your cupboard and look at what's in there and uh, you know I just want to kind of explain to go go over this article with you to give you an idea of how important this is and this is what it states the type of fat you, that you eat is quite possibly the most important dietary factor affecting the level of inflammation in your body that's because fats are precursors to both pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory chemicals in your body note that now we're that we're not saying that all fat is bad for you because fat is necessary to uh, good health just like protein and carbs and other nutrients are we're saying that there's a world of difference in the between the healthy fats and the unhealthy fats and here's why fats stimulate a variety of chain reactions in your body picture of uh, a run of those dominoes when you push on the front first line the rest of them kind of topple over inserting unstable or unhealthy fats into your system will eventually cause the system to collapse in the same way 
When you consider that every cell of your body is surrounded by a lipid layer, which is a fat layer, that's just right, the right consistency to let in the right stuff while allowing all the critical waste products to not go through it you can, and, or to pass out of it, more importantly. You can see that altering the composition of that membrane can be risky business, yet that's exactly what unhealthy fats do. They gunk up your cell membrane, and what's more, they initiate, uh, initiate that domino effect that ends up with a host of really highly inflammatory molecules of uh, fatty acids running rapid through your body. Trans fats are really the worst offenders. Although exist, you know, they don't exist anywhere in nature. They only are in the supermarket uh, uh, shelves, and uh, you know, they uh, are the ones that make up the snack foods, the fried foods, the baked goods, and the vegetable shortenings. So, trans fats are also create a wealth of free radicals that dominate and damage your healthy cells, and they really trigger a lot of inflammation. Hundreds of studies uh, have been uh, linked to this happening between the trans fats and the inflammation. So the uh, essential fatty acids uh, are fats that your body can't live without and you must get them from your food sources. Uh, these fa uh, essential fatty acids uh, are known as omega-6 fatty acids and omega-3 fatty acids. And uh, they, uh, f six fatty acids starts the fire of inflammation and the omega-3 fatty acids put it out. So we need both of them, but we need them in the right consistency, as I said later. So, uh, you know, you really need to balance them. So, uh, uh, for example, cows uh, used to feed on grass and they created uh, meat and dairy products that were high in omega-3 fats. By high, we mean kind of a one-to-one -one ratio. That's what we mean when we say high in omega-3s. If they're high in omega-6, they're over the three-to-one ratio, and that causes more and more problems in us. So an ideal of balance is that three-to-one ratio. So remember, keep uh, your oils lightly covered in a closed uh, container. Uh, you don't want them uh, exposed to air, and you want them in a dark uh, one, especially the mono and saturated and the, uh, the PUFAs. So, you know, folks, it's not that hard. Change your oil. Uh, it, it's going to be good for you. Uh, oil is uh, essential for cleaning your system out, for keeping healthy membranes. So, you know, just uh, start looking for them. Coconut oil, uh, great things to fry things in. Lard, good things to fry things in. You can fry things in butter if you're not allergic to dairy products. Uh, the oils like your avocado oil, like your um, olive oil, I don't recommend uh, them to be used uh, in um, you know, in cooking, but if you're going to do it, you can do it on a real low heat and you should be all right. Peanut oil, that's what they use at McDonald's. Uh, it's a very, very cheap oil, highly acidic, very, probably one of the most acidic. So rapeseed is another one, which is the uh, uh, canola oil uh, and soybean oil and corn oil, all really highly acidic, all used by the fast food industry. In fact, in most restaurants, you're going to find them using one of those four oils. And uh, I recommend staying away from them. Uh, and go into the restaurant and ask them what they're using. And you'll get a good idea of whether you want to eat those uh, little snacks that we like, the, the French fries or the um, onion rings or all these other things, calamari, that, we, that are just deep fried over and over again. And you know, one of the things that's bad about those oils is they turn rancid very quickly, usually after one or two uses. So Canadian Oil Company, that's right canola oil. Okay, that's it uh, for this segment. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. The number here is 877-927-6648 and pick up that Health Signals newsletter while we're on the break. $10 a month. You get it free for 30 days, folks. So try it out for 30 days and then see if you like it or not. Okay, I'll be right back. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts has officially launched at TFNN. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind software, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, Butterflies, ABCs, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the market for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, and even months searching to find. 
As part of our introductory pricing, we're offering licenses available at only $59 per month. We're so confident that you'll love this new outstanding piece of charting software that we'll even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Lock in your low price today by ordering your copy at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page of TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, gives you Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. With Market Insights, nothing is left to guessing. With the market at record levels, volatility is here, and now is a perfect time to take advantage of a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights. As recently as March 26th, Tom advised his subscribers to liquidate their four short-term equity holdings, closing out all four positions for a combined 15.9% profit, and on April 1st, Tom advised his clients to sell their longer-term position in AIG warrants, locking in more than a 40% profit in just that one trade. If you'd like to see the kind of newsletter Tom O'Brien sends out to his subscribers each morning, then sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. And Nico on Living a Primal Lifestyle. Paige will be back next week. So, uh, you know, uh, come back and uh, wish her uh, say hi. Welcome back, Paige. Gone too long. Tell you that for me. Uh, the number here is 877-927-6648. Do we have an international number? 727-445-1044. Please pick up my Health Signals newsletter, which I'm looking at right now. And, uh, you know, that opening uh, uh, page here, Nutrient Density, real important, important, important article. And uh, I had uh, never really heard of this. Uh, most of the time when uh, people uh, talk about the density of food and nutrition and things like that, what we find is uh, that they're really looking at uh, the calories versus, you know, the... Uh, the other stuff. Let me fix this window here so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, and his talk is really good. One of the things uh, on here is density scores, and I'll sh read you a couple of these. Uh, like it starts at about 17.5. I don't know exactly what the top would be on this, but the lowest one he has is uh, minus 8.12, which is processed fruit. Uh, 
and grains are minus 7.8, but organ meats and oils are 17.5, herbs and spices 60.78, uh, fish and seafood 1.16, uh, beef 0.31, all plus, and then you get into the minuses, which are uh, eggs and dairy po minus 0.56, vegetables 0 0.70, and it goes <coughs> higher and higher as you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Interesting. Anyway. So go to his website, you can see the whole thing, and there's also, like I said, the video there you can look at. Uh, <clears throat> next page is uh, page three, snacks that can harm your kids. Basically talking about the level of sugar in snacks. <coughs> mm, something caught in my throat. And the nice thing is I have a good recipe for a lemon, raspberry, gummy, fruity snacks. They are pesticides free, so you can uh, make them yourself. And ingredients are in there article about GMO farming and how it's uh, helping to destroy some of the groundwater and of course the world's drinking water uh, can be a real concern here and uh, quite in-depth article with links everywhere and uh, a uh, nice article about uh, raw cheeses and how beneficial they are and how you can fit those into a primal lifestyle and really get a benefit of protein and fat that, uh, that would be very very good for you and then below that, I have Gary Tobbs, who is a reporter that speaks about the, the uh, devastating effects of sugar and has many, many talks. And here he has a talk about calorie versus uh, carbohydrates and clearing up the confusion over uh, obesity paradigms. And it, it's about a 30-minute talk, and I think it's worth your while to listen to what he has to say about that. A new, new tea company uh, that I was uh, aware, made aware of through one of our listeners, Runa Tea, got a page on that and some links for you. <clears throat> and then there's a great article uh, about who's afraid of a little fat. You know, we talked a lot about fat, and there's a great link here to a video by Nora Gagatis about the holy grail of primal health and how important fat actually is to you and why you should be incorporating that. So I, I encourage you to uh, listen to Nora Gagatis. She's really important. And there's a nice chart on here saying, uh, you know, the difference between some of these fats that we've been talking about. An article about... Uh, uh, ancestors and how they ate about the paleo diet and were they really on a paleo diet or weren't they and of course you know they're <clears throat> when we're talking about paleo we're talking really about paleolithic er era the time before agriculture and uh, you know you need to understand of course that food is not around anymore what we're really trying to do is find out what's our healthiest way of eating and uh, looking at how we ate for uh, many, many years, uh, it just makes sense that if we successfully uh, operated as a species for thousands of years and we ate a certain way and now we're changing it and we see our decline in health of uh, our species, even though technologically we seem much more advanced than our ancestors, the, we have been finding out that our ancestors really did know one thing, and that's, uh, well, two things, maybe reproducing and eating. Those two things we knew a lot about, and we were very good at both of those things, and that's why we're a successful sp species. But in order to get healthy population, you need to be healthy yourself. So uh, obviously we survived, uh, and uh, we're here, and now we see actually the decline. We've got documented proof from uh, all kinds of sources, whether it's just the visual uh, stuff that uh, I saw during my life growing up for the last 68 years, or whether we go back in the history books and find out what the people were eating 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 500 years ago, 10,000 years ago, or maybe even 200 or a million years ago. And that can give us a clue. It makes sense to me. So that's why I include these articles in here, to give you a chance to uh, really find out yourself. Um, on the chat room, Angie says, TFNN not able to listen to the archive show from yesterday. So I don't know what the problem is, but uh, uh, we will check on that. And uh, if there's a glitch, uh, Angie will try to fix it for you. Article on uh, page 11, what we can learn from breast milk. And I covered that with Paige a couple weeks ago a little bit, but this is the article itself. And the article about the 3D printers and some links in there about... Uh, NASA trying to uh, actually print food uh, in a 3D printer. Pretty cool. And then I have a, a great section on 20 questions on gene uh, genetically modified foods, GMs, what are the most uh, pressing issues in this, and uh, why does that, uh, uh, you know, why are we using these things, and what's the logic behind using them, and why should we maybe stay away from them? 
And then I have a couple of recipes. I think I have one great recipe of uh, gluten-free, grain-free beef ravioli. And a lot of people ask me, substitutes, substitutes, substitutes for grain. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of did away a with, you know, grains for 99% of my life now. But a lot of people do use substitutes. Uh, in here, they're using uh, a... Uh, Superior spaghetti sauce, uh, and they're using what are they using for the pasta? Some kind of spaghetti thing that is really not spaghetti, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. So check that out. Anyway, you know, uh, what are the best grains? I, I get that question quite a bit, and there are really no good grains or safe starch. But when you're talking about a safe starch, maybe white rice might be considered a safe starch. Because when it's cooked, there's really most of the 99% of the toxins are out of them. Same with white potatoes and uh, even, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the other potatoes, the, uh, the yams. Uh, you know, when you cook them, get rid of the skins, then you're really talking about that uh, they're kind of safe. I don't know why you'd want to put them in there. I don't know why you would need an extra starch in your diet, but some people like it, so that's a good way. As far as grains themselves, uh, white rice might be something, but if you're using a flour, rice flour is kind of a toxic flour as far as I'm concerned. I would recommend uh, using, instead of almond flour, in fact, uh, I had an article here about uh, five reasons to avoid almond flour. Almond flour is a little darling of grain-free, paleo, and primal, low-carb baking. It even rivals conventional flour with its ability to produce tender and fluffy baked goods. Unfortunately, almond flour, almond flour has numerous detrimental health consequences. Important to understand these aspects of almond flour so you can make a decision whether you want to use it or not. Okay, get this. A cup of almond flour contains about 90 almonds. I'll calculate that by dividing 640 calories in a cup of almond flour by 7 calories in an almond. Almond flour disguises the consumption of that many nuts. Imagine eating 90 in a setting. That's, uh, for example, this popular al almond flour f uh, pancake recipe uh, calls for one and a half cups of almond flour uh, and yields about four servings or two to three servings. Uh, if you have a hearty pancake appetite. That's about 135 almonds in each batch, 33 almonds per serving, for four servings. That's a lot of almonds, so you can look at it that way. About 20% of fat in the almonds is the polyunsaturated fat. Remember, polyunsaturated fats, when they come from uh, animals, are very healthy for us. Polyunsaturated fats that come from plants, not as much. They're much less stable, much harder for us to digest. Uh, so, you know, they're just not going to be metabolized as much. Polys uh, from fish actually go right into the bloodstream, kind of like MCT oil, and polysaturated fats from a plant will go to the liver to be reprocessed so the liver can use it. So there's a whole dynamic that takes place there, okay? Uh, here's a few reasons uh, why you shouldn't go overboard in polyunsaturated fats. Uh, they suppress uh, mitochondrial en energy production. They uh, cause an, an inflammatory uh, response in your body. They cause digestive issues by impairing the action of certain digestive enzymes. And this is what we're talking about. We're talking about the ones that come from plants. Uh, they slow down your thyroid function. They inhibit detoxification enzymes, and they deplete antioxidants in the body, and uh, they uh, really uh, cause problems with some of your um, pedestrian and uh, s some of those hormones. So polyunsaturateds aren't necessarily evil, but if you get them from good sources like animal fats, you're going to be much better off. Okay. Uh, saturated fats have those single bonds. Uh, I went over that pretty much before. So that's pretty much it on this article, I think. So uh, what I would recommend, though, if you're going to uh, use some kind of flour uh, rather than uh, using any of the grains or using almonds, I would recommend buckwheat. 
because buckwheat actually isn't a grain, even though it has the name wheat in it. It's not a wheat. Uh, buckwheat is actually comes from a flour. A lot easier to digest. And uh, in fact, there's a company the, uh, that I get that uh, makes uh, noodles, uh, ande noodles, and they make them with buckwheat and yinayama yams, which is a high mountain Japanese yam. Those things are fantastic. So if I ever have clams and linguine or something like that, I use those noodles. They're real nice and thin noodles, and they're delicious tasting, and they're actually good for you. So that's pretty cool in itself. Uh, I have some great exercises in this uh, issue also. You know, a lot of people are doing this new uh, thing called the obstacle races. And there's, uh, I found three top body weight exercises for female obstacle racers. Of course, it works for men too, just the same way. And uh, there's the three great exercises in here. Uh, and uh, it's got uh, actually diagrams and showing you how to do these three exercises. So I think you should pick that up and, and take a look at it. And that's pretty much the issue of uh, the health signals uh, this uh, segment. So uh, please pick it up. You know, $10 a month. You get two issues each month. And of course, on near the back of the uh, thing, I have all our resources uh, in here, which uh, link to uh, all kinds of uh, things. I think we got it in this issue. Did I forget to put them in there? You know, I might have forgot them in here. Uh -oh. I don't see them in here. Either my wife forgot to print them or I left them out. Anyway, they'll be in the next issue. So, And if you want some of those resources, I'll be glad to email them to you. And any of the things that you heard me talk about, you don't get the newsletter and you want a link to some of these things, I'll be glad to provide them for you. Just give me a uh, shout on nico at tfnn.com. You can also reach page at uh, page at tfnn.com and we'll certainly return your emails uh, promptly. Uh, and meanwhile, you can give me a call here at 877-927-6648. Uh, you know, one of the things in life that is kind of, you never really know what to expect when things happened. And I think I, I, my dad always told me, you know, if you want to look at the positive ties, uh, uh, side of things, you're going to uh, come out better and you're going to come out on top. And not only that, you'll get to experience a lot more. So I just want to give you a little indication. A few weeks ago, we got a call from some friends of my wife uh, through another friend. And they were having a birthday party for this friend. And they were uh, getting some musicians together and they needed to needed a singer and so Ellen asked me if I would sing and then she could sing with me and they gave me a list of songs so I practiced the songs for a little while and they had a rehearsal so a couple of weeks ago we went up to the rehearsal and uh, we got there it was really loud in this garage and the bass player was really loud there was more musicians there than we had thought and this guy was singing all the songs so I could barely do any of the songs singing and I thought it was just we spent a couple hours an hour drive to get there I thought oh my god this is horrible, but I, you know, we had promised to do this, so the gig came last uh, Sunday. Uh, so uh, we went up there, and uh, they had everything set up nicely, and uh, you know, we tuned everything and got up on stage, and uh, we started singing. And the the other guy who was singing, he says, "You want to sing some of those verses?" So yeah, let's just go back and forth. So we started singing, and uh, we started doing some harmonies, and you could hear everything, and. Uh, all of a sudden, you know, we go through six or seven songs, and we're sounding really good. You know, I says, wow, this is really cool. I said to my wife, I said, yeah, see, bad practice and good performance. And then uh, the, we did a little bit of break. Ellen and I went up. We did a couple of songs that I had written, and the bass player and uh, one of the conga players went up there and uh, was with us. Uh, and uh, played along with our tunes, and then the whole band came back up, probably did another maybe six or seven songs, and uh, it was really <laughs> dynamite. So, you know, the thing is, you never know how things are going to turn out. So even if things seem bad, you know, go through with things and try things out and try the experimentations with new things like the food we talk about by changing your diet and changing, getting into an exercise program. You know, you never know. It may not look right. It may not look uh, like uh, it's going to go smoothly, but then uh, uh, the next day it may turn out that's the best thing you've ever done. So it's really important to take those chances and go out there and, uh, you know, go with your instincts, of course, but you know, do the things that maybe take you into a different level and maybe you'll get a little more enjoyment like uh, my wife and I did last weekend. So that. I'll be back in a couple of minutes, folks. I got a little more segment left. The number here is 877-927-6648 and I will be back in a couple seconds. Thank you.
Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report, which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks, as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the Gold Report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the Forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Newsletter health signals. You can get that on the subscription uh, page there. Uh, take a look at health signals and check out my newsletter, please. Uh, also, uh, you know, you, my archive shows are uh, in, in video on uh, livingaprimalifestyle.com. And... Uh, you know, you can go there and check out the, our past uh, weeks. And on those, you'll see Paige there, and we really miss her. Uh, you know, unfortunately, some of these uh, 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 continued education classes that she does are only available on weekends. So, you know, that puts a crimp into it sometimes, so she has to leave a little bit early. Uh, some of them are done Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so things like that. So once in a while, she's going to be gone. But, uh, you know, I, I'm glad that she's coming back. I'm getting lonesome here by myself. I found this inter in <clears throat> interesting article. I'm sure 
your page would know about this. That's why I bring it up. Is uh, edible SPF. So uh, slathering on sunscreen isn't your only UV defense. Turn on your diet. Uh, turn your diet on to protect your skin. I never knew this before, but uh, strawberries, they're deliciously sweet at this time of year. According to research, a cup full of berries a day may offer a healthy dose of sun-guarding antioxidants. Okay. Uh, tomatoes, they're rich in powerful antioxidants, uh, and for a higher dose, choose tomatoes in the cooked form, like tomato paste. In one study, participants who ate five tablespoons of the stuff every day for 12 weeks sufficiently, uh, significantly uh, suffered less sunburn than the controlled group. Chocolate, all right, I love chocolate. Uh, yet another reason to go on to the dark side. Re researchers uh, found uh, the studies who drank a daily coca beverage equivalent of 3.5 ounces of dark chocolate, which is uh, high in disease-fighting accidents, uh, antioxidants, and uh, they had less skin damage from UV light than those drinking uh, placebo. Fish. In recent uh, experiments, uh, participants uh, took either four grams of omega-3 fatty acids, about one and a half portions of oily fish, like salmon, or a placebo daily for three months before being exposed to a light machine. Fish oil doubled the body's immune protection against low UV levels. And leafy greens. Greens are the top source of beta carotene, an antioxidant that may help reduce the risk of sunburn. Studies show max out benefits by uh, quick cooking greens and tossing them uh, in olive oil, both of which help uh, your body absorb uh, the skin treat, uh, strengthening treatments better. So those are some of the things. Another thing I found that when you uh, get off the grains, your body is going to have a much better uh, ability to deal with the sun or any of the other uh, uh, pollutants that we have out there that is going to touch your skin. Remember, your skin is very porous, and uh, you know things are always being absorbed in your skin. So you need to protect it, and uh, the best way to protect that is through your food. So this. The primal type diet is always going to protect you inside and outside too with the natural oils, with great proteins and a little bit of carbohydrates to stimulate the natural healing process that our bodies have through its immune system by constantly repairing and having your body in a nice relaxed position to always be repairing things. If your body is uh, too inflammatory, your body is too busy uh, patching up the holes, getting rid of that inflammation to be bothered with the general maintenance that takes place. You want to live a long time, you want to uh, be healthy during that time, and eating is that pathway to that health. Nothing else can uh, give you such a, uh, uh, a lift uh, into health as great, great food can. Then you start adding a great exercise program into it uh, just by, you know, walking more just by picking up some heavy things once in a while, by doing some high intensity exercise uh, once in a while, and you're gonna find that your health is going to improve, you're, you're gonna feel better about yourself, and you know, from there, doors open wide. So, you know, I really appreciate you sticking around, folks. Uh, Paige will be back next week, so the Paige and Nico show is gonna continue. Yes, indeed, I miss her too much. So, uh, see you next week, and thanks a lot, and live a primal lifestyle, and eat well. Make some good choices. Thank you. Hi folks, I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and the trend is your friend until it changes. A free special report is now available on the homepage of TFNN.com, and if you have money in the markets, this free report is a must. If your strategy is buy and hold, this report is a must. If you're a day trader, a swing trader, a forex or options trader, or just getting into the markets, this report is a must, and it's the second best gift you'll ever receive. Look, if you buy a stock and the general market is trending in the other direction, you've reduced your odds of buying at the right time by 70%. Instead, let me teach you how to get that 70% advantage plus. The plus is a free trial to my daily newsletter service, Mastering Probability. There's no upfront deposit, no charge to your credit card, and I can press decades of education into each daily newsletter. This is a limited time offer, so act now, and I'll teach you how to take the trend and turn it into your best friend. All the details are on the homepage of TFNN.com. Act now.